Hey, what's going on everyone? Gary Husted with G2 Home Services, your kitchen and bathroom remodeling specialist. I uh, just wanted to go over today a little bit about tiling your shower. Um, essentially, obviously you got hundreds and hundreds and thousands of different types of tiles out there, different ways it can be installed horizontally, horizontally vertically, uh, herringbone. Um, you've got so many design options when it comes to to doing this work that I kind of wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about how the work is done, some of the options that go into that, and also some of the terminology that goes along with it. So jumping right in as far as uh, the terminology goes, here's some that you should know. Uh, first off being shower pan. Um, your shower pan refers to the waterproofing that holds the water inside the shower and doesn't allow it to spill out. Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, grout is not waterproof. Uh, thin set is not waterproof. Um, so all of these things uh, essentially don't keep the water in the shower. If you need a specially designed shower pan that does that. Um, you have several different options when it comes to a shower pan um, and waterproofing your, your shower system. Uh, the first being the traditional method, which would be a rubber installed uh, liner um, that would come with, you know, essentially a concrete uh, backer board that we would put on the walls um, and a waterproofing, liquid applied waterproofing agent, either a, wet, a red guard or aqua guard, something like that. Um, and that would be your more standard method of installation. Um, now you also have your uh, Schluter Curdy system. Um, that's we've been doing a lot more. That is a uh, waterproof shower system, they call it. Um, it does have a lifetime warranty associated with it. And that is basically a foam insulation board that is covered with a uh, very, very good vapor barrier. It keeps moisture out, it keeps water out. Um, and, and their thin set um, is what relies on the waterproofing. And, and they say that it does that accurately with the thin set and the banding that's applied to that uh, to make it just all solid one unit. Uh, system. Um, so those are the two different options that we use as far as your shower surround waterproofing goes. Um, now moving forward to more of the, the decorative areas of your shower, um, obviously you have your shower floor tile, your shower wall tile, um, and then if you get into any type of a Lestello, Lestello is the term that we use to describe uh, the band, the decor decorative band that we put in. Um, it's, it could be horizontal, it could be vertical, it could be anything that you want, but that's the term that we use to run that through there. Um, the Listello is typically three to four inches thick um, and is usually with a glass mosaic or some kind of a decorative tile to break up the actual tile that's on your shower walls. Um, now we use some kind of a mat style tile for the shower floors. Um, typically no more um, if they're individual pieces on a mat, no more than two inch by two inch. Um, obviously the mats are usually run in a 12 inch by 12 inch manner. And we like to put something down that's obviously not slippery. So that way you don't uh, slip and fall while you're in the shower or anything like that. <clears throat> now, we can also install a lot of other things in these showers when we do that. Um, corner shelves, uh, the old pie shelves we call them, pie seats. We can build benches into the showers and tile those. Um, we also install recessed niches in the walls. Um, the recessed niche can be, you know, we can inlay the, uh, the same tile from your Lostello into the back of the niche. Um, you can use tile sills in there. Uh, oftentimes we install either, you know, if we were going with granite or quartz countertops, uh, we'll make sills that match the curb and the insets on the, on the niche. Uh, so all those kind of tie in together. Um, so you've got tons and tons of options as far as how um, other additional things that go in. Uh, Schluter is actually now making a, uh, they call it a clear line or Invisalign shelf, corner shelf that goes in. And they're very, very low profile, very sleek looking. Um, and they're made out of the same aluminum, anodized aluminum that the, uh, the Schluter Jolly Profiles and Edge Profiles are made out of. So it's uh, very, very good working stuff, long lasting. Um, and, and just kind of, these are all little things that will just tie your shower together. Um, now, when it comes down to grout, we always use a Mape Ultraflex grout. Now this grout is not a typical grout. Uh, most of your poly blends and things like that are a Portland based grout. Um, there are potential issues that come with a Portland-based grout. 
Um, anybody that has ever heard the term of efflorescence before, efflorescence comes when it's a natural chemical reaction that happens between Portland cement and water. Um, and sometimes what it does, it causes the Portland cement to basically to ash. Um, it adds, it causes, it turns white, it, it brings, it eliminates the color, removes it totally. Um, it's very, very difficult to work with. Um, now, you know, us being experts of our trade, 99.9% uh, .9 of the time, there's no issue with that. But there are some times that it happens, you'll get a bad, bad, bad batch of grout, which has happened on a project from, of mine before. Um, and it just ends up becoming an issue that we don't like to take. So we end up using the Mape Ultra Flex because it's not that Portland based grout. Um, and it just, it works a little bit better. It's a little bit more costly, but in the long run, it works out to be a better product. Um, you know, we already touched bases on the sills. Obviously your curb, if you're going with a curb and not a roll-in shower, um, the curb is the area on the bottom of your shower, usually where your frameless doors will sit. Um, and that area steps up uh, usually a minimum of two inches from the drain to the curb, unless you go with a curbless system. Um, and then that would be obviously a roll-in style where there is no curb. Um, so we, call, we refer to that as a zero barrier setup. Um, so yeah, I mean there's tons and tons of options that go into your shower um, I just wanted to kind of run through a little bit of the the lingo if you will and uh, So you guys know uh, if you are having somebody come out to give you an estimate for a bathroom If you are having somebody come out to look at your shower um, You can at least kind of understand some of the things um, all of this I break out or most of this we break out on our estimate uh, the Lastello, the niche um, shower benches things like that are all broke out into line items so you can see what's on there what they're talking what, what they're talking about when they say those things and where they come out of the estimate so hope you guys learned a little bit from that today uh, i know it's a long video thank you very much for paying attention if you stayed the whole time we appreciate it uh, if you have any other questions about any showers or bathroom remodels reach out to gary houston home services on facebook at g2 home services or give the office a call 727-478-5279. Thanks guys.